Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking all about horses. Two of the most frequent questions I see when it comes to Red Dead Online are what is the best horse and which horse is the bravest? The answer I usually give to the first question is there really isn't a best horse in the game because best is subjective. Now there are definitely horses with better stats than others and some of those stats do make a difference. However, if you like the way a certain horse looks, even if it doesn't have the best stats, just put the best saddle and stirrups on it and you probably won't notice too much of a difference. As for the second question, bravest horse is also subjective. Now, there are numerous YouTubers putting out videos stating that bravery isn't a real thing for horses, that all horses behave exactly the same against predators and gunfire. Well, yes and no. I've played thousands and thousands of hours, both in the story and online, and there is a difference in horse behavior. I just believe that that difference is a bit of RNG in the game, meaning you can have two of the same horse and they both react differently. It's true that all horses react the same when not being ridden in quotes, meaning if I'm not moving them around or calming them, they pretty much all react the same when you approach a predator or when you fire a gun around them. So that part about bravery is true. However, I definitely notice differences in how easy it is to calm a horse, how close I can get them to a predator, how early they react, and how reactive they become. Some horses definitely need to be calmed more than others. For example, the Arabian is one of my favorites, but you do need to ride them a certain way so you aren't constantly getting bucked off. But enough about that, today I'm going to be featuring what I feel are the top 7 horses stats-wise, and also some of my favorites in the game. I'll also go over some honorable mentions at the end of the video, but for now, let's get into it. The first horse we're going to start today with is the Turkoman. Easily a fan favorite of Red Dead enthusiasts, the Turkoman is known for its large size and courage in battle. Listed as a multi-class horse with standard handling, the Turkoman starts out with 7 health, which maxes at 10, and 5 stamina, which maxes at 8. Base speed is 6 and acceleration is 5, but with the Nakadocha saddle and hooded stirrups, you can get this to 9 speed and 8 acceleration. The original three coats for the Turkoman are the gold, dark bay, and silver. Rockstar recently added four more coats for the Turkoman that are available online only, and these include the gray, black, Chestnut, and Perlino. The great thing about the new coats is that the stats are the same and they're not rank locked, so if you're a new player you don't have to wait until rank 56 to pick up one of these horses. The Turkoman has amazing health, which makes them an ideal horse to take into a gunfight, as it'll eat bullets and will rarely need to be revived. This is a popular, well-rounded horse known for its fantastic health, good stamina, fast speed, and courage, making it a wonderful addition to your stables. The next top horse, as well as my personal favorite, is the Arabian, specifically the Black Arabian. A controversial horse in the game, you either love them or hate them. So when asking about the best horse, you're going to have people either say the Arabian is the absolute best or absolute trash. There really is no middle ground. The Arabian is listed as a superior class and the only horse that has elite handling, and it really shows when you're riding one of them as they handle extremely well. They are quick and agile with great health and stamina. They're a high-spirited breed, so you do need to get used to calming them in high-stress situations so you don't get bucked off, but their speed and handling help you maneuver around whether you find yourself in the middle of a gunfight or facing down a predator. There are three coats found online, the Red Chestnut, white, and black. Unlike the Turkoman, the stats are different for these three coats, with the Red Arabian having the lowest stats, all the way to the black with the highest. The Black Arabian starts with 6 health and stamina, which maxes at 9, and 6 speed and acceleration that you can get to 9 with the Nakadosha saddle and hooded stirrup. The elite handling, agility, health, stamina, and speed make the Arabian a great choice when choosing a mount in Red Dental Line. Next up is the Breton. A multi-class horse, the Breton is one of the role horses added in Red Dead Online and can only be obtained by purchasing the Bounty Hunter license. There are six coat varieties, with the Red Roan and Sorrel being available at Rank 1 Bounty Hunter, Grillo Dunn and Seal Brown available at Rank 10, and finally the Mealy Dapple Bay and Steel Gray available at Rank 20 Bounty Hunter. The stats do get better with each level, meaning the Red Roan and Sorrel have the lowest stats and the Mealy Dapple Bay and Steel Gray have the highest. The top two Bretons start with 6 health, which maxes at 9, and 7 stamina, which maxes at 10. You start with a base speed of 6 and an acceleration of 4, but as with previous horses, you can greatly increase this with a good saddle and hooded stirrups. The Breton is a powerful breed and was designed to do well in gun battles. Short and muscular, this is a tough breed that also has a good amount of speed. 
I do find them particularly brave and calm, both around gunfire and predators. The Breton is another breed with high health, which means you won't need to revive them often, and the max stamina means you can race towards and away from enemies without slowing down. If you don't care how tall the horse is, I definitely recommend the Breton as one of the top horses you can get in Red Dead Online. The next top horse I recommend is the Cloud Ruber. This is another roll horse that was added to Red Dead Online, and you must purchase the trader roll in order to acquire it. Easily recognized by its Roman nose, the Cloud Ruber is a great all-around workhorse. Just like the Breton, there are six coat varieties, with the lower ranks having the lowest stats, and the highest ranks having the best stats. At rank 1, you can purchase the black or white coats, rank 10 has the cremello and gray coats, and finally, rank 20 trader gives you access to the silver and dapple rose gray. The rank 20 horses start off with 7 health and stamina, which both max out at 10, 4 speed, and 5 acceleration. This is the only horse with a higher acceleration than speed, and it is one of the slowest horses we have covered so far. However, the Cloud Ruber is an extremely calm horse that can cover great distances due to its max stamina. It's also an extremely healthy horse with max stacks there as well. I find the Cloud Ruber to be a great horse in a variety of activities, except perhaps for horse races. It's a great hunting horse who is also good in battle due to its calm demeanor and high health. If you don't need the fastest horse, I recommend the Cloud Ruber for its all-around great stats and calm behavior. Next up is the Mustang. A multi-class horse, they are easily identified by the dorsal stripe running down their spine and lean frame. The Mustang has traits of both war and work horses. They are strong, handle rocky terrain well, and won't startle easily. The three original coats in the game are the Girl O'Dunn, Wild Bay, and Tiger Striped Mustang. Rockstar recently added four new coats, which include the Buckskin, Black Overo, Chestnut Tovero, and Red Dunn Overo. Similar to the Turkomans, the new coats are not rank locked, and they have the advantage of having max stats, better than the original three coats, and they also come with a very low price tag. The new Mustangs max out at 10 for both health and stamina, and without added stats from a saddle, the speed starts at 6 and acceleration at 4. All of the Mustangs are great horses, but the new Mustangs have some pretty impressive stats to go along with the rock's steady demeanor, loyalty, and ability to handle different terrain. Whether you're a new player or a veteran, you can't go wrong with the Mustang. The Norfolk Roadster is another top choice. Available only in Red Dead Online, this horse was added with the Moonshine Roll, and just like the other roll horses, you must purchase the Moonshine Shack to access this breed. There are six coat varieties, Black and Speckled Gray are available at Moonshiner Rank 1, Rose Gray and Piebald Roan at Rank 10, and Spotted Tricolor and Dappled Buckskin at Rank 20. The Rank 20 Roadsters start with 4 Health, which maxes at 7, 6 Stamina, which maxes at 9, and start with 7 Speed and 6 Acceleration. You can easily reach max speed with this horse depending on what saddle and stirrups you use. The Roadster has an excellent temperament and can travel long distances at great speed. One of the fastest horses in the game, the only downside to this horse is the low health. This is why I recommend sticking with the rank 20 horses and being careful when you get into gunfights. The Roadster is a great choice for horse races and cross country rides and you can easily outride all types of danger. This brings us to the Missouri Foxtrotter, which is another fan favorite. The two original coats in the game are the Silver Dapple Pinto and Amber Champagne. Rockstar recently added four new coats, which are the Blue Roan, Black Tovero, Buckskin Brindle, and Dapple Gray. Again, the advantages of the new coats are that they are not rank locked, but the stats are the same for all coats. The Fox Trotter starts off with 5 health, which maxes at 8, 6 stamina, which maxes at 9, and starts with 7 speed and 5 acceleration. This is another great all-around horse. It's known for its high speed and stamina, which means it can run fast for long distances. Fox Trotters also have decent handling and agility, and the health is high enough that it does well in gunfights. This horse is suited for a variety of activities, including racing, hunting, long distance rides, and bounty work. And generally, this horse is extremely well rated among the Red Dead player base. Okay, finally, let's cover some honorable mentions. First, the Gypsy Cob. Honestly, this horse probably belongs in the top list of horses. It's a hardy breed with great health and stamina. You do need the naturalist world to get the cob, but it's well worth it, especially if you like to hunt as they are fearless and powerful. Another horse I really like is the Hungarian Halfbred. The Halfbred is a courageous war horse and is fearless in battle. 
The stats for the half-bred are decent, they just aren't as great as some of the newer roll horses in Red Dead Online, but with the right saddle and stirrups, this can be a great addition to your stable. The Dutch Warmblood is similar to the half-bred in that the stats are not that great compared to the top-tier horses, but they're a very dependable breed that handles well. They're a good size too, so if you like well-rounded horses that are tall, you might want to look into the warm blood. I find that they have a really great temperament around gunfire and predators. The Shire is another great horse if you don't care about speed. It's a draft horse with heavy handling, so naturally this horse is slower than the others on the list, but it's a giant beast, so you can easily mow down predators and enemies. The Criollo is another great choice, as many people love this horse for its speed and health. I'm not a huge fan personally as I generally find them skittish and I don't like the coats available, but most people say the Criollo is one of the best horses currently in the game, so don't hesitate to give them a try. Finally, a few other top choices that I really like but just get edged out by the newer horses are the Overo American Paint, the Reverse Dapple Nakoda, the Silvertail Buckskin American Standard Bread, Brown Leopard Appaloosa, and the Brindle Thoroughbred. If I had more stable slots, I would definitely purchase these horses again, as they all have some great features, whether it's speed, temperament, stamina, or health. I've owned and ridden every single horse in this game, and while I stand by my top choices, I also recommend finding a horse that catches your eye, getting them to level 4 bond before making a decision if they're a good horse for your playstyle. If you found this video informative, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like, and I'd love it if you leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite horses are and why you love them so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.